Hello guys, welcome to a geological zone. So today we will deal with the concept of paleontology. So what is paleontology? Paleontology. Paleontology is a very applicable branch for entrances as well as the semester point of view. So the term paleo, the term paleo means ancient. The term paleo means ancient and the term logi means to study, to study. So the term paleo means ancient and the term logi means to study. So in paleontology, in paleontology, we will deal with, we will deal with the fossils, we will deal with the fossils. So please underline fossils. Then we will deal with the definition of fossil. So what is fossil? What is fossil? So fossil may be defined as the remains of the remains of plants, the remains of plants and animals. The remains of plants and animals known as known as fossil. So remains of plants and animals known as fossils and the fossils preserved in the fossils preserved in the sedimentary rocks preserved in sedimentary rocks. So the examples of plant fossil so there are different example of plant fossils like uh, telophylum, telophylum, glossopteris, glossopteris, gangamopteris, gangamopteris. So these are the different examples of plant fossils like telophylum, glossopteris, and gangamopteris. Then the examples of animal fossils. There are different examples of animal fossils like uh, trilobite and the echinodermata. Trilobite and echinodermata. So the fossils classified into the mega fossil, mega fossil, then micro fossil, micro fossil, and C echino fossils echino fossils so we will deal with one by one first we will deal with the mega fossil a mega fossil mega fossil so mega fossils mainly found in marines or mega fossils mainly found in marines or marine environment applicable for the mega fossil as well as the fresh water environment also applicable for the mega fossil. The term mega means large. So just because of the largeness, the fossils visible by visible by neck eyes possible. So there is a possibility to visible the fossils on the basis of our eyes. Then the examples of mega fossils like trilobite gastropoda gastropoda etc so there are different examples so number one the trilobite and gastropoda act as a mega fossil in paleontology next one micro fossil micro fossil so micro fossil we will deal with the micro fossils under microscope under microscope so we use the paleontological microscopes to identify the microfossils. The examples of microfossils like foraminifera, foraminifera, ostracods, ostracods, etc. So this is about the mega fossil and micro fossil. Then C, it's echino fossil. The next echino fossil. So echno fossils are formed due to the activity are formed due to the activity of animals 
the activity of animals on sedimentary rocks so we called ichnofossil means ichnofossil is also known as the trace fossils ichnofossil also known as trace fossils mean there is a tracing of animals on sedimentary rock so the examples like the borings of the borings of burrows the boring of burrows and spirifer spirifer act as a spirifer act as a ichno fossil ichno fossil so we will revise our all lecture in the one minute so paleontology the term paleo means ancient and the term logy means to study so in paleontology we will deal with the fossils so there are different types of fossils we will deal with the plant fossil and animal fossil so there is a remain of plant known as plant fossil there is a remain of animal known as animal fossil so these are the different examples like telophyllum glossopteris and gangomopteris act as a plant fossil and trilobite and echinodermata act as a animal fossil so mega fossil micro fossil and ichno fossil so there is a classification of fossils so classification like a mega fossil b micro fossil c ichno fossil mega fossils means mega fossils belongs to marine environment as well as fresh water also applicable for the mega fossils so the size of mega fossil is large and it visible by the naked eyes examples for that the trilobite and gastropoda micro fossils so we will deal with the micro micro fossils under microscope we use the paleontological microscope for that then the examples for that the foraminifera and ostracods and ichno fossils so there is a activity of animals on sedimentary rock known as ichno fossil so ichno fossil is nothing but the trace fossil and the examples for that the boring of burrows the borings of burrows and the spirifer act as a ichno fossil so please like subscribe and comment thank you thanks a lot